progress is nation building. After the country has attained independence, uh, we can evidently see that we are liberated, largely speaking, except that we can extend the liberation to economic empowerment, which is work in progress. Then we can say that what is left now is nation building. So if you will click to progress, is seen in that light, where as a nation, we have emerged from liberation and now focusing on nation building, then it should be very clear what you are clicking. If you are online or offline, it should be very clear what you are clicking. We are clicking nation building. Because that's progress. And nation building is not just like even our river Nile has as a focus and tributaries. It doesn't flow anywhere. Nation building requires that we build institutions. Institutions of youth, institutions of empowerment, institutions that give young people opportunities, which is what this Ministry of Youth and Sports and the Sister Ministry of ICT and Postal Services and other ministries are doing for the youth. And more importantly is the economy that even as we talk, and I had a lot of mention in these speeches, that when you are clicking, it's about economic empowerment. Technologies have been used to advance economic development. The world's richest person, Elon Musk, got his riches from technologies. He's not selling groceries. Even groceries also are produced from enhanced technologies. And more importantly, it's human capital, which is why uh, I must thank, in a special way, um, the Minister of Education, ICT, that partnership to build capacity of our young people so that they don't just use technology to send messages. And sometimes those outliers, the small group that is using internet for hate speeches, but that actually they use internet to create wealth. They use the internet to educate themselves. They use the internet to learn about the history and to share their cultures so that we are respected far and wide. So this action to progress, the ministry will have answered it in three ways. And I'd like to aim from there. That first, as a country, we are told the population is all young, 72% of the population is young, and that's not only us, by the way. Africa is also young. Over 60% of the population of the continent is young. So there must be something we, we have to do as young people on the continent and in South Sudan. That even now, the stories we hear a lot about Africa, about diseases, poverty. So what's wrong with the young people? Why are we not changing that narrative? And so that challenge is also to us, that as we brag about our numbers, the numbers must really be turned into positive. And we have to create positive narratives. We have to create wealth, development and peace in our country. And this takes a simple two approach, in my view. Organization and planning. If you wake up in the morning and then everything becomes a priority, I can assure you that you're not heading anywhere. It's important even before you wake up. Of course, young people uh, don't dream that much, but others will be awake at night for most of the time. You should be thinking about the future so that in the morning, you follow through with those targets and ambitions. This is how you develop. It's not left, right, back and front. It's a sustained, Engagements. This we have seen with the liberation struggle that we fought and attained independence through sacrifice and dedication. In the Ministry of Youth and Sports, we think that we could achieve this nation building, this youth empowerment, in three ways. The first, people have talked about it, it is sports. And we will see here which team will showcase their talent. Africa and South Sudan is a place for talent. 
sports helps give you money, fame, and more importantly, this has not been talked about that much, is mental health. So sports is our one priority. We saw the bright stars playing with the respectfully call them giants, we are also giants, uh, the US and the rest. And uh, in our own narrative, they survived. Uh, and we represented Africa. The next time we do it with Aid and Beyond, um, South Sudan will take that medal and lead the continent. So sports is our one priority. We also, as second priority, would like to focus working with our sister ministries and partners to give young people skills. The UN system, and we must thank them a lot for helping in upskilling of the young people. They have done quite a lot in training. Of course, when you are trained, the next thing is to have the mentality of startup. Don't wait for employment. You become your boss when you have your own business. So upskilling is important because we know nations have developed and progress if and when they develop the human capital. That's why people go to school to learn and discover new things. The last is that young people must change the narrative of violence to peace. Because this country to progress we must have peace. And peace comes when young people embrace each other, when they focus on empowering themselves, on sharing love, when they focus on acquiring new skills. So these three priorities, we hope, with others, help us to achieve that progress. So that next time we commemorate the International Youth Day, we truly are living in progress. We'll be saying, progress from progress to prosperity, uh, not action, progress. I uh, thank you very much. Okay, and do better than that. Uh, let's clap better, please.